Hey, what's going on YouTube? I'm Bob Lewis back doing a response for my man Jake. 500 subscribers. It's pretty awesome. Uh, yeah. He wants to see our card room, so this is going to be my card room video. I spent uh, a while cleaning it up just for Jake. Coming up the stairs. Little room off to the side here. It's not a complete card room. Uh, I use it for some storage. Um, you know, old boxes. Uh, and here is um, like set boxes and stuff. More stuff like that. I got packing stuff over here. I set a couple of these out just to get an idea of what's in here. The old newspapers. This is when Cal hit his, um, break, broke the record, you know, McGuire, what else is here, P. Rose, so, um, yeah, let's see, 1985, so I'm not really sure exactly what to do with stuff like that, here's, uh, old Shaq jerseys, a couple, uh, Yankees t-shirts, this is just more random stuff. Um, starting lineups. Probably deserve their own video one day to kind of break those down. But then um, come into the car room. That's typically where I make uh, my videos. Um, it's, it's a lot of just stuff kind of everywhere, which is kind of what I like. Uh, it's kind of a, what do you say, plethora. Got my Shaq starting lineups up there. Um, my dad's a big Clint Eastwood guy. So I'm a big Clint Eastwood guy. Got my albino bowling, albino bowler action figure there. Just a, a random uh, Bobby Hall card. Actually, this is... We took this in and we bought this and didn't realize that they colored in the jets down here with the uh, ink so it's kind of a reminder to look at your cards before you buy them um, yeah weird stuff some stuff from Pepino man uh, a fish with a coconut in its mouth uh, there's my plaque over there for winning second place in the 1991 National Wrestling Championship. Um, my Shaq tribute. Lots of stuff there. Um, I'm going gonna to go fast just because there's a lot to cover. Uh, some stuff I'll talk about, some stuff I won't. Um, Shout out to uh, MP Fox, the Fox family. What up, Teo? Uh, man, they went to the to the game that they gave out the uh, stadium giveaway of the Austin Meadows bobblehead. Haven't even unpacked it yet. Haven't done a proper video on it, but I will. A uh, little Clemente game used jersey piece there and photo of the 3,000 hit. There's a Lemieux. These are like Highland Mint. 19 of 33 Lemieux autograph and frame. There's the Lambert. Just look really nice on the wall. Those are recently hung because they were recently found. Kind of keep my label maker, my little tripods, supplies, team bags, random stuff over here. I'll do a video on this one. Well, I might as well just show it, right? That's what we're doing, showing the card room. Uh, just got this recently for my birthday. Austin Meadows Bat. Autographed. I'll leave that there. Um, TV. Second monitor when I plot my laptop right here. There's Austin Hayes. What up, buddy? Uh, then if you look to your right, just kind of a shelf here that is an in-between for stuff that I'm working through or sorting through or just don't have a home for it yet little dividers that I'm making labels with 
There's a trash can. Some, uh, ooh, who's that? Um, these are just for show. I don't actually do push-ups with them. Turn around behind me, you got one wall of uh, cards here. This is kind of where I'd like to get to with everything. So these are all kind of top loaded, uh, sorted by player. So I'd like to get to that stage with everything. Um, I won this in one of Jake's contests. Awesome, thank you, sir. Uh, but this is kind of where I'm at, you know, baseball prospects, these, these need sleeved and sorted. Um, these are hockey, they're sleeved, but they still need sorted, you know, football sorted commons. If I have enough for all one box, I label it as such, but man, it's a, it's a work in progress. So here's Jordan box, you know, here's a Shaq box, got Austin Meadows box down there, extras. So I'd like to obviously get to a spot where every box has some kind of a label on it, meaning I've gone through it. I've pulled out stuff that, you know, needs sleeved and uh, sorted. Uh, so it essentially it's just going to be commons in there or it's going to be sorted by the player or team or type of card. Haven't really figured all that out yet. Mill City Wax hooked me up with these custom team boxes or set boxes. There's a rock I painted to look like a whale. Um, like, like I said, it's just like random stuff. I wanted to kind of be like a my own personal museum. You know, here's a Pittsburgh Maulers. Something on top. Something on. Who's this guy? Detroit's Bill Freeman. Eventually, this will probably go to a Detroit guy or something. I, I don't know. I can't keep everything, but everything hasn't found a home yet either. Uh, there's a ball for my buddy with some pirates on it. Chuck Tanner on the sweet spot. Clemente calendar. Uh, my filing cabinet, which has... These are uh, full-size magazine sleeves, and these are like just random old Sports Illustrateds. Um, some really cool stuff in here, probably ones that, you know, there's an Olympic one, let's see, more Olympic stuff, but yeah, I'm not going to go through all this, uh, maybe I'll do... But here's like an old sports card price guide, Jordan. Anything with Jordan I've typically kept. Jordan. Anyways, so yeah, that's uh, four drawers of magazines and whatnot. Um, there's a Larry Bird. So... Yeah, that's that. We got uh, just kind of decorate with um, boxes. There's a little baby gnome with uh, a beard. Old school Twin Peaks video tapes. Sort of the same deal as uh, the other ones, but this is a Jeter one. An old school Steeler hat. Some terrible towels. These are uh, some of my comics. Old Beckett's. Ooh, I just got this from my buddy Kip down in Florida. A little authentic game used base. It's got real dirt on it. Uh, more comics down there. Stack of mostly recent Beckett's. Um, yeah, gonna do a binder showcase video at some point. Uh, so a good bit of them have been picked over if there were cards maybe I wanted to grade or whatnot in there. So a lot of that stuff, like I said, has been picked over. Here's uh here's my Austin Lewis mug. <laughs> I 
There's a story behind that. Some of you might know from the uh, Hobby Palooza. There's uh, an autographed picture of Benicio Del Toro because everybody should have one of those. That's from uh, Big D for Life. My uh, cards that got lost in the mail for months and then I finally found it. Old school Beckett at Clemente. My favorite bobblehead. Mike Trout playing hockey with the missing tooth. How sweet is that? What's up, Jesse? Think Blue 77. Whole bunch of little bobbleheads and stuff. Um, a bust. A plate. Lots of little things to look at. There's a floating dog. Um, we got a Marshall University, Randy Moss, Randy Moss, regular, some uh, license plates, this is from Pepino Man, Gale Materials, because, just because, some little hands, here's a big chess piece, I believe it's a bishop, there's a jumbo box of 2020 Bowman, here's a... Uh, more plastics. These are like little awards I won as a wrestler. Wrestler. Um, I got some unopened Pokemon, Pokemon stuff. Cash money. Uh, little picture of uh, Bill Mazeroski, the home run. There's a Clemente. There's a. Um, some other stuff here, some packs, some headliners, uh, yeah, more just random stuff that don't really have a home, got a fridge down there, uh, there's another trash can, there's a chair, here's a autographed Mark Messier stick. Uh, we got some sets. Uh, sets. That's from my buddy DC. Some unopened garbage pail kids. Some current sets. This is what I'm doing like nowadays. Um, trying to put together some of the stuff that we just open a lot of. Some DVDs. You guys can judge me for my selection. Uh, yeah. Uh, we got Don Mossy, Gerard Dion in the house, and uh, of course, Stormy Pimentel. And like I said, I kind of just like to decorate with uh, empty boxes. There's a set here. Steve, what up, Steve? The Bronco 79. Here's uh, it's another Steve. We got the LeBron James Happy Meal figure. This the, there's a little Sergeant Slaughter action back there. Uh, we got some incense. We got the Puffer Bong. We got Jackie Robinson. Uh, Wheaties. We got some more Wheaties. We got a Big Duck. We got Egg. We got uh, LeBron James, we got some poop, we got Flutie Flakes, um, Franco Harris, there's some Russian nesting dolls, there's a Wayne Gretzky Christmas tree ornament, there's an old school Japanese golf figure, we got just Mean Joe hanging out there, um, yeah, so that's, that's kind of this room. And then this is where I made, this was, excuse me, the original uh, card room, if you will. Uh, we'll start over here, I guess. Got some albums on the wall, a little Lambert action up there. Uh, this is cool. My dad hooked me up with these things. So this is the uh, Family Tree of American Rock. And it's got like... All these little bands in there. Very cool. I love it. And then uh, here's get, this one got a little bit of water damage. Um, but that's the British rock one. Once I can declutter some of this, I'll be able to get these shelves out of here so it's not jammed up on it. 
but you can never have too much cardboard. Um, there's a light, some more albums. There's a rocking chair with some pillows, some pennants, book bag, old school pirates, Eric Lindros, who was the man. Uh, there's a Jordan kind of coin, not a real autograph, facsimile. But here's some Jordan stuff. Um, there's a second started or uh, Sports Illustrated cover of Jordan. Jordan Wheaties, there's the uh, third one. I don't have his first one in the North Carolina uniform. And there's uh, Baymax. And then, like I say, you just find random stuff like his old school uh, Barbie poster deal. You never know. Another Jordan. 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 Um, little record player action. Here's my PS1. Some of you guys saw that in the, one of my last videos. Um, trying to get a new disk drive but got some old school nintendo and sega stuff in here um, nintendo little game genie action and what's down here laptop printer stuff uh some records a couple helmets there uh there's my lobo the beatles uh, Neil, some cups from my man, uh, Zombie, there's a Clemente, uh, puzzle deal from, uh, Raphael, hidden gem, I put it together, and, uh, he just sent me the pieces, here's, uh, this is kind of cool, my dad got this a while back, it's sort of like, um, Roberto Clemente envelopes, and bought it framed like that so it just looks sh sharp if you ask me there's a clemente cornflakes i won that in the g's mikey contest uh yep there's a horse there's a brian giles ball barely um my horse there's a floppy banana what well, hasn't been moved in a while I didn't dust. I did clean up, but I didn't dust. Here's a squishy lammy. Um, some stuff here. More random stuff. That was my first starting lineup to Emmett. I opened it up. Uh, deep thoughts. Let's see what this says here. I tried to explain to little Betsy how when horses get old, you have to take them out and shoot them. But then I thought, why not wait until she gets a horse? Yeah, that's pretty awesome. That's from uh, my one and only sister. She's a good girl. Uh, they come with an egg. It's a VIP for sure. That's from my, my man Josh. Impact player. We got some other stuff. Hey, there's Rock Bob. What's he doing? Thomas Jones helmet, um, more random stuff, Darko, my daughter, one of them, <clears throat> is that, that dude is just creepy, keeps me up at night, um, old CDs, these are compact discs, uh, we used to play those on, uh, record players, I mean CD players, uh, there's a game of chess right there. You know, just to so you guys think I'm smart. Uh, James Conner autograph ball. We got a Curtis Martin autograph ball here. It's from a man four leaf. What up? Love it. Got a Josh Bell there. Little of these ice cream helmets. You get these at the stadium, serve ice cream in them. Honus Wagner, there's a defensive play card or something or shift card. Papina hooked me up with one of them from, uh, I think it was a pirate game and a uh, Dodger game. Jack Lambert. Terrible towel. There's some uh, concordance to the Bible. If you don't have one of those and you like reading the B-I-B-L-E, you should have that. There's a record, uh, or like a vinyl record price guide. There's some awesome cards from an awesome dude. 
Uh, that's a care package I'm working on. Some DVDs and VHS. Um, yeah, my, my wife got me that big Seinfeld fan. That's just awesome. There's a S and M teddy bear from Alaska, and I know he's from Alaska because he represents. Uh, this is a little uh, shelf action. My grandpa, little Twin Peaks coffee cup, Pittsburgh Steelers uh, belt buckle, some English leather soap on a rope, shower soap on a cord. Excuse me. Um, some Meadows action there and Rays. Uh, some books. Some books. Autographed helmet. Austin Meadows. What up, Bing Scott? Got some, uh, sports marketing reports, I believe. And then just more cards. Not as many post-it notes in here. There's an eagle from the top of a flagpole. I usually scare my kids with that. Um, but you'll see some of these boxes, they've seen better days. Um, anyways, this is the, ooh, there it is. My uh, TTM of Papino Man. There's a Philly teddy bear. I'm just rolling the dice on who gets that. So many Philly fans. And then I, uh, I'll pull back so you can't see. But that's what I use. The, the little names uh, or the little yellow things on them are, are names of people. And, um, you know, if I see something that belongs in somebody else's collection, I usually slide it in there. And I got open spots down there. So still, uh, you know, got to do some work there for sure. And then some last row of boxes here. But, yeah, that's this room. And then uh, I started selling cards on eBay, pulling in money. So then I uh, I said, wife, I'm going to migrate into this room as well because, you know, I need room to work. And pretty soon I'll be over here too. But uh, the dollhouse will stay. Um, anyways, guys, this is for Jake. You know that. The Ticket Leprechaun. Go check him out. Give him a sub. You won't regret it. Jake's got uh, a really awesome card room. His his is his museum quality. He's got like official like cases and everything, man. Um, just fantastic. And on top of that, he's a great dude. He's a great, great dude. I've met him in person. We shook hands. We may we may have even hugged. It was awesome. So, hope you enjoyed the room. Uh, maybe at some point, like I said, I'll break down some of this stuff a little bit more uh, specifically. And, and yeah, that's it. All right. Sorry for the long video. Wait a minute. I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry at all. All right, I'll see you later.